So what I've done since the last time I tested this, we'll call it a makeshift, good idea, bad idea, bow fishing kit. Consensus so far seems to be it's not a terrible idea, but I'm still a little concerned. Anyway, my line broke last time because it was like four pound test on here that came with the rod. Lots of reasons that that line could have broken. I've got some 30 pound on here now, but I've never, well not never, but it's been so long since I've uh, restrung a fishing reel, I, I have no idea how well this is gonna work. So for my first shot, I'm gonna test the theory. I just launch it out into the lake and get a little pull on this as I try and retrieve the arrow so that maybe I can wind the spool a little bit tighter. So, here's to hoping. Click that loose. Got my rod on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Clearly I still need to practice this technique a little bit. Probably should have had my glove on first. All right, so I've got the reel ready to go, I think. I've got my foot on the rod in the sand in the water. So let's just see how well this goes. And that's it. That stopped pretty dead in the air. I missed that. I didn't get a lot of line on here, so could have stopped for that reason. But to be honest, it's a it's a child's reel, you know, and it's intended for um, considerably thinner line. So I'm not gonna be able to get the same length out of 30 pounds that you would be able to about four pounds. But aside from that, that seemed to go okay. I'm just gonna bring in that arrow here. And we'll try this again. So far today, I'd say I've got some pretty good arguments for getting proper boat fishing gear, but I'm having a good time out in the sun. So let's take another shot and see if it was the length of the cord or if I've got a knot in my reel. Nope, it was the length of the cord. You catch that? I hope so. It's fast. Okay, all in all, I gotta say for retrieval, this is working fairly well. Um, next bit, I guess, I've gotta do some short range practice. Obviously, I'm gonna need longer line. I think um, I might look at some of the other fishing rod and reel setups that I've got. I've got an old salmon reel, so that, that held a lot of line. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But even though it looks like a bad idea, it seems to be working okay, so I'm gonna run with it as if it's a good idea. And uh, now, we're going to go out and test the power of the bow. I was told if this can make it through a shoe, then it can make it through a fish. So today, we're going out to hunt some crocs in the wild of British Columbia. Stick around. All right, well, since this is our first time trying to hunt crocs in the wild of British Columbia, I thought we would start with some smaller game. First thing I found here is I brought a sandal. Now it's floating out in the lake. Let's see if we can nab her. I'm gonna try and stock up on this really careful. They get really ornery when they get caught in the spit. Surprisingly deep water. Oh, I just missed that bugger, but luckily it's not startled. Alright. Well, by the time I got my arrow, I had it taken off down the lake, so we're gonna go and find it. Right, it didn't go far before it stopped to rest, so we're gonna get nice and class and try and put an arrow right into the heart of that beast. And again, oh, I missed. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is why it's important to practice, practice, practice. If this had been a wild croc, I could be dead by now. 
All right, we've chased it into some shallower water and I've caught it kind of pen. I'm gonna try now. Third time's a charm. With any luck, we'll bag this bait. Bring her home. My first trophy. All right, mates, let's get it. I got it! That sucker's going home for the wall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my first kill in the wilds of British Columbia. Now, let's go find us some of them crocs. All right, so I found myself a wild croc right here in the Okanagan Lake. Obviously, with the amount of tourists that we have coming through here, this is unacceptable. Something's got to be done before somebody gets hurt. Let's go take a try. Alright, I'm stocking up on it now. Just missed it! Ah! Oh! Saved at last! Alright, now that I've got myself free from the warp truck, it's personal now. from three feet away. I still missed it. This is a wily beast. Alright, I've given it a couple of minutes. I'm up here on the shore and it seems to have settled itself down again. Much like the small game that I got originally. With any luck, third time will be a chance. And if not, I'll chase this thing into the shallow waters and we'll put him on the trophy wall as well. He's getting away. Come along. Got him! Let's go get that beast! Look at that! The arrow went all the way through him, almost! What an incredible day of hunting! We got that wild sandal, and now a wild croc! Bloody good day, mates! Alright, let's go! Alright, sometimes retrieving your area from the corpse of a beast can be one of the most difficult tasks. In the case of this croc, it just doesn't want to let it go. Give me back my arrow, you bloody thing, you bugger. Oh, sort of. I got it free! Another one for the trophy wall. Today is a good day. Alright, well, it's been incredible so far hunting out in the wilds of British Columbia, but we were just sitting down, having ourselves a bit of a break. When sharks pointed out, there is an elusive airwalk fish swimming just along the surface. Now these guys can be incredibly tricky. If I don't get this one on the first shot, I may not be able to take it at all. Let's go. I've got to say I'm really proud of the game that we've been able to bring home today. You know, the first shot was a little tricky. I had this lady sandal. Now this was a bit of an interesting bit of game. It gave me a bit of chase, but after we chased it up into the shallow waters, I bagged that baby. She's going on the wall. Now the second thing, we managed to find ourselves a size 9 croc. Right here, in the wilds of British Columbia. Size 9! It's bloody incredible, man. That's definitely going on the wall. And right here, our third and final bag of the day, we have 
an amazing size 8 elusive Okanogan Airwalk. I pulled this puppy right out of the lake on my first try. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fabulous day. Thanks for coming along with me and GT Bear on the outdoor adventures. Have yourselves a fantastic day. All right, well, that was definitely different, you know, not the standard outing into the woods. It uh, has been an interesting adventure here on JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventures. A little bit of a visit from uh, Johnny Outback, all those Australian voices that live inside my head. But you know, sometimes when you're out back, Johnny's got to come play. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like or subscribe or if you'd like to see me have more fun, feel free to uh, share. That way the word gets around. Anyway, I have had a fantastic day today. I hope you have had a fantastic time watching this particular outdoor adventure video. And uh, by all means, go play outside. Play safe, but go play outside. See ya.